Welcome back to Modern Homestead Alaska. Today we're going to work on the main or the master closet that has a laundry room in it. Um, before I get into this video, I do want to tell you second hardest project that Erin and I have had to do together because I mismeasure things, I get injured, I end up with a migraine that knocks me out for an entire day, we have to take off a door, and then you have to see kind of how my brain designs each one of these spaces and how I go from what I was originally thinking to the end project. And we're just gonna show you what real life was like for us this last week as we built this closet. So if that is something you're interested in, stick around for a little bit. Let's get into it. some before and afters of the closet. So I hung this door wrong when Aaron was gone and it doesn't shut so he has to fix that. This is where the washer and dryer is supposed to go. That gets moved to the basement. Um, yeah. Cody and I hung that. Uh, just a leftover cabinet we found here at the house. But all of our clothes have been in buckets since we got here in July. So we just live out of buckets. Okay, it is cleaned out. Now let's see what we're actually starting with. Okay, that's the handle to the door. I don't want to lose that. So, it's a long, narrow room. We got the washer and dryers picked up today. And then the hardware to stack the dryer on the washer. Sit down. Where are you? 
Did it work? What do you need? Those little screws. Okay. Okay, so this is what we got done last night. The washer and dryer are in, they're running because we are a family of five and no washer and dryer for two days is bad with sports. That is my medicine cabinet. It is huge, like 24 inches deep and it allows me to store what I need and it fits perfectly next to it. Erin, is yelling. Coming! Oh, why hello there. You didn't think through the door? This is Jenga. Oh! We are bringing in the drawer cabinets and setting them so we know exactly what we need left in the closet. Okay, so when I measured this door for cabinetry and I measured from the door to the wall, I took into account the wrong measurement on the cabinets and had measured for an 18 inch cabinet thinking it was 18 inches deep. And now the door won't either open or close if we do the cabinets. So, Erin now has to take off this door, frame, or trim all of this out and it has to become a sliding barn door in order for me to have all of my cabinets and drawers in here so things are going real well today let's see if we can actually finish this closet or not Now we're gonna head into a fun part of the video. We're gonna nickname Thoughts with Jessica. So we're gonna see Aaron and I, which took two hours, work through what my original design was and then measure out and come up with a new design for this closet now that nothing is working the way it was supposed to work. So let's let's have some thoughts. Let's see how my brain designs things like this. No. My original design was for these to be here. I don't know if we can do that now that we don't have the door. And then between each one was a hanging rod and a shelf up above it. And then down here at this end, whatever space is left was supposed to be the shoe rack. So when you walk up to the closet from the outside, you saw the, the drawer and then the hanging rod. But when I stand there next to the washing machine, it just feels tight. Really tight. So I think having the cabinets down here is our only choice. And then the shoe rack and baskets go here because that can be more narrow. Like, here's the basket, here's the Listen. step that the shelf needs to be. So these were supposed to go in this closet. To store stuff on the tops of the shelves. So I only needed them this deep. that feels like a lot less aggressive right here 
for it to be shoe rack and shelves up there. Can I just pause and say, God bless this man that lets me say all the crazy things that I'm thinking and he just inserts stairs up making and lets me work through Because all now that we scooted him down in here, this whole back side is obsolete. Like everything behind me, I can't utilize this space now. Like behind this, it's still behind that. So I, I see we do 24 by 12. Oh, oh. All the way to the ceiling. Oh. What do you say? <laughs> a two foot high, just get rid of the shoes, bail out, right? Well, in my head, this room is giant, and I could have these massive shelves in here, and it's not planned out so well. Okay, well, help me measure this, and I'll give you some leave. I have some leave that I'll share with you if you measure this out. <laughs> I don't know if anyone caught it, but I literally just bribed this man Ugh. with a leave for his back pain in order to get him to finish my closet. Oh, I'm losing it here. Okay, new plan. So first is the width of this for the countertop. I should get my phone up to take notes. Hi guys, we're measuring a closet. <laughs> what do we have? You know that you look as dumb as I do with the whole closet measurement because you didn't measure anything. Nope. You I was told you were the captain and I just needed to follow along. So I said. And what do we have for him today, folks? All right. We have a design now. We measured it out. We went and got the rest of the pieces that we need. And we got home and Aaron got right to work. I did some cleaning and some other things, but he immediately started building it out. So let's check in where we're at. My daughter and all of her friends are out there. We'll check in. So we had to frame out this door in order to build the sliding door. So all this will get caulked and then sanded and painted. This was our measuring guide. I'll move that out. Aaron already installed the cabinets for me. He's found the studs and screwed them into the wall. And now he's gonna start working on the countertop and the framework. So. Okay, we're along. gonna get this closet finished today. This is what I'm working on while Aaron helps me. I dumped the closet and now there is just stuff everywhere in the bedroom. I'm starting to sort. Washing all the bedding because it's Friday and I always do on Fridays. The glass shower surround is going in today. I am starting to just go through all that was in the space and edit or get rid of, decide what we're keeping and what's actually going to go into the closet and how we're gonna do it. Although it appears in the video that I am helping, I am really not a whole lot of help. Aaron and Caleb did most of this while I sorted through, hung things up, organized, but I love that he calls me in for each detail to see where I want to 
have the height of the rod, where I want the shelves to be, where each and every piece goes. And it takes a big man to hand over every detail to his wife so that the closet is perfect for me. So appreciate it. Okay, let's see how we ended up first. Remember my room? There was stuff everywhere. So really quick, this dresser has now, like this is my GoPro. These are, those are you, uh, stuff that, clothes that I'm saving. There are teams that my kids were on, those sort of things. Most of this dresser is completely empty now, but that is kind of our storage space, not our daily use space. I'm going to kind of avoid the shower because I want to show you that in a different video. This is the stuff I'm not sure what I'm doing with it yet, but I still love these items. So I think they'll go somewhere and emergency first aid doesn't have a home. <laughs> As we get to the closet, ah, oh, you know that measuring stick, that, what's it called, Erin? What's that thing? Oh, it's a measuring tape. I used it improperly, did not do the right measurement in the closet, bought all the stuff, went to install it, and we could not either open the closet door or shut the closet door. So the closet door got taken off. It was not framed like here, here's an example. So this door frame is meant to be open between our bathroom and our bedroom. And so it has bull nose and they drywalled this. And there was supposed to be a door here. And so now it's been trimmed out. I have to do all the caulking and painting. Erin finished all the trim in the whole house for me. I will get to that this next week, but let's take a look at where we're at when we go in there. The washer and dryer are working. I had that little box. It was a different color in our last couple of homes. I built it, but it's a good way to hold the things that I don't use very frequently. I have guest towels up there. The medicine cabinet is here. It houses everything, like toilet paper and first aid stuff. My dad suggested that I paint it to make it brighter in here, and I think he's right. So I think after the house is finished, I'll pull that cabinet out and paint it white to match the rest of the closet. So moving on around, here's the shoe rack that Aaron built, um, laundry basket. Up at the top, I have more space. These are just hats at the very top. You know what's weird? I bought these. I bought these gray um, boxes and the reason I like them is they cinch closed and so whatever's in them doesn't get like dusty and dirty if it's up there for a long time but I bought them before we moved and I did not build four cubbies because I honestly didn't realize or remember how many of those that I bought, but I bought eight and there is exactly enough room for eight of them. These two are in use because they are winter stuff. So hats and gloves and scarves that are mine, uh, cover ups, that summer stuff, skirts and dresses and those sort of things, and then summertime shoes, empty. And then that is additional sheets and curtains that I'm not sure whether I'm going to use them or not. Then moving down, we have three bays for hanging. This is literally all the hanging clothes that Erin and I own. And then we did the white tops this washes easily there's some caulking and some touch-up paint all that still needs to be done i'll fix the ends of this 
But these were those three cabinets that I bought that apparently did not fit and have a door. But anyway, they are not even full. This is the amount of clothes that we own now. So some sock drawers, pajamas, let's see. Oh, tank tops, so on. Empty, Aaron's belongings. I was not sure this kept floating around and my bathroom just went nowhere. So I hung a little hook and put that there. But yeah, that's it. Great, we've made it to the end. I do love the closet. I have a couple of things. If you enjoyed this video, would you consider subscribing to the channel and ringing the bell for notifications? Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. All of those things help our channel grow. Next, if you want to see how we did those cabinets, I'm gonna include that at the very, very end of the video. So just stay tuned and it'll roll right into how we did those base cabinets from stock cabinets that we had bought at the Home Depot. And lastly, if you are interested in how Aaron and I became accidental minimalist and how it is that this is all the clothing that we own. Um, leave that in the comment section below. I would love to do a video on it if that is something that you guys are interested in. If not, I will just see you in the next video. See you guys. Okay, so I have three of these cabinets. They are three drawers. the fronts and then they will go side by side in the closet and then this will be the base of the closet and then we'll put the uh, hanging stuff above it. So we need to take these apart, get the handles drilled and start painting the cabinets today. Drawers, Aaron's just joined me. He is going to drill or pre-drill so that if I need to sand where we've drilled for the handles to go on each one of these drawers, and then I am going to start taping them before we paint them, and then we don't have to take the fronts off, and then that will make it a whole lot easier. So, we'll put you on time lapse, uh, and you can watch what we're doing. Okay, so Aaron measures each and every drawer and then drills. They make these little things that you can buy in the section of Home Depot where you get the hardware and it maps out where you drill each and every hole. And I tape and I pre-sand all of the drawers and the fronts a little bit and that just really helps the paint. And then I just used white spray paint. It actually took three coats, which is not normal, but the cabinets ended up beautiful. Take a look. Mm -hmm. 